The plan for this march is to bring across a message of grief and unhappiness. Gathered are youth, family and friends of Erki Martin, Abed Andreas, Marius Ipinge, Malakia Kotogeni and Flavianus Enjala. The alleged robbers then, the police say, had combined 24 criminal cases ranging from attempted murder to armed robbery and robbery with aggravated circumstances. The five died after they suffered multiple gunshot wounds, reportedly during a fire exchange with the police. And today, voices that have been constant on social media platforms are on the streets, calling for justice and demanding for the immediate arrest and prosecution of the police officers implicated in the killings. The protesters made their way through Independence Avenue. Their stop at the Ventuk police station was short. Here, group leader Michael Amoshelelo threatened a daily protest in front of the station, saying such protests will take place between 8 o'clock to 5 every day until the police officers involved are arrested. The reason why we have laws in this country is so that to protect everyone. In this country, no one is allowed to kill anyone. But the police, because they think they are untouchable, they think they can be killing innocent people in this country. Before proceeding with the march, Amushirello had a message for the officers. This is a missed call. We are coming back. That's it. We are coming back. Amushirello has over the past few weeks made serious allegations against the police and the Ventuk City Police. The vehicle in which the five men were gunned down was allegedly booked by a senior officer at the Vinduk City Police. He further accuses the police of covering up the killing of the five men. The activist lamented that the killings of civilians by the police is a matter of grave concern. When Frida and Atipo, a struggle kid was killed, who was she killed by? Ellis Plaiki Biekes was killed by police officers in Kate Masop. Those police officers were arrested as a result of a protest that I led in Kate Mans. But if we continue to remain silent, these people are going to walk scot-free. It was against the warning of Amoshelelo that protesters decided to march forward to the police headquarters. They were only allowed to stage a protest at the Agustino Neto Square. Here, some broke down in tears in remembrance of the five men that died at the hands of the police. <laughs> police Chief Lieutenant General Joseph Shikongo has denied all allegations and foul play regarding the killings and has said that investigations into the matter are ongoing with a docket to be sent to the Prosecutor General for her decision. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.